some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. If you guys are not members of my YouTube channel, do your boy a favor, smash that like button, also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get alerted when I upload new content. Now, if you read the title of the show, this may be a little confusing to certain people. I'm pretty sure everybody's seen the Pixar Disney movie, The Incredibles, right? The first one. And if you haven't seen it, go out and watch it. It's a dope, dope movie to watch with the family, right? But that's not where I'm going with it, but I'm going to give context. So I said, not The Incredibles, The Intangibles. <laughs> not The Incredibles, The Intangibles. Now most people will be like, now Raheem, what in the hell are you talking about? I'm glad you asked, because I'm going to explain, right? Let me explain. A few moments later. But before I explain, I almost forgot. Shout out to all the blue collar workers across the United States. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Oh my God. All the men. All the hardworking men and women who keep the lights on. Shout out to you guys. If you are in the blue, blue collar sector, working class of America, shout out to you. That's for that's for me to you. I appreciate you. This is me giving you your flowers, right? So, not the Incredibles, the Intangibles. Now, most people would be like, "Bruh, what you talking about? I know, I know who the Incredibles are. That's that." movie that my little son keeps watching on repeat every Saturday morning at the dinner table eating his uh, bowl of cereal. Let's give it adult context now. The Incredibles, meaning Disney, representing, you know, cartoons, make-believe stuff, meaning it's not, it's not real. Right? It's not real. So, not the Incredibles, the Intangibles. And what I mean is, what are the things that men and women bring to each other on the dating market that are intangibles? This is... So, now is where I'm going to start to work. We're going to gracefully remove sex off the table. Can you say that again? Just the way you said it. We're gonna gracefully remove sex off the table. Damn! Because I notice whenever you ask this question, right, and, it, and it's not applicable to all women, it's only applicable to the women who get triggered. So, I always give context, right? I always give context. So, shh. Very, very quiet. What weapons? Shh. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting weapons. Let's take sex off the table, right? Let's take sex completely off the table. Now, as an individual, man or woman, now. What do you bring to that person that you would like to date for a lifetime? The intangibles. My nigga. What do you bring now? Take sex off the table. Now you have to focus on the intangibles, the characteristics of said individual, the man or the woman. So let's go with the intangibles, right? Let's start with the man. The man brings money, right? The intangibles. He brings money, right? He also brings protection, another intangible, right? He brings leadership, an intangible. He brings discipline, morals, ethics, drive, ambition. All of these things are intangibles. Things That's a fact. That you just you can't just reach out and, and grab it. Yeah, the money is a tangible thing. So scratch that one. Take that off the table. 
We're just purely talking about intangibles. Now, for the woman, take sex off the table because that's something physical. We can we can touch it, right? We can touch your body, right? My body all over your body. Oh no, he didn't. Miss Pages. Remember that song? So, as a woman now, take your sex off the table. Oh shit! Say it again. Take your sex off the table. Now, as a woman, what are you bringing to your man of choice? I don't cook, I don't clean, but let I, me tell you, I got I, this ring. <laughs> the intangibles, not the incredibles. <laughs> That's why I, I made the you know the correlation. Not not the not the incredibles, not the fantasy stuff. What do you actually bring to a man of your choice? The intangibles and take sex off the table. We're animals. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Woo! Yes, we're animals. For all the people in the back of the classroom that was sleeping because I got your attention because I said, The Incredibles! No, the intangibles. Take sex off the table. This is a grown conversation. This is a grown up conversation. It's not for the kids. Put the kids, excuse them, put them in the other room, and put on the Incredibles, right? This is for the adults. Ask yourself, ladies, look, look in the mirror because I, I think. This is the part of the conversation that upsets a lot of women. And it doesn't matter now what you look like. Can you say that again? Just the way you said it. And it doesn't matter now what you look like. It doesn't matter. And I'll make a point. And uh, for this classroom uh, purpose. If you take away sex, right? Think about back in the day. And again, uh, rest in peace to the godfather, Kevin Sanders, right? He made a reference when he was speaking about women who were not in shape. I'll be politically correct, right? And he called her Big Shirley, right? And it was also a fictitious character on Martin. We never saw her, <laughs> right? But Big Shirley, and and pay attention. This is where I'm, this is where I'm going with it. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Now Big Shirley, she was not an unattractive woman. Keep that in mind. She was not an unattractive woman. She was cute. We'll give we'll give her cute. She was cute, right? She was cute, but. The intangibles. She can cook. She can clean. I'm I'm referencing the 90s now. I'll, don't worry, I'm gonna come forward. Back then, Big Shirley in high school can turn the hell out some rope. Intangibles, right? She can turn the hell out some rope. Uh, she can braid. She plays spades, right? And if she thought she was cute enough. She might have did your homework. Or, if she thought she was cute enough, she may have protected you from a bully or two. So she might she might have saved a couple of you guys from a few ass whoopings. <laughs> Intangibles, right? And she was a sweetheart. She was all in her femininity. That is an intangible that for some strange reason, a lot of modern women missed that class of femininity do you know in today's day modern day they actually have etiquette courses specifically for women they have etiquette courses etiquette courses because clearly right and I'm, I'm gonna dig a little deep with this one this one might stink I'm sorry I apologize a lot of our modern women come from broken homes that's a fact Right? I'm not going to dig into the why. We're just dealing with the outcome. We have a whole bunch of adult women who did not see mommy and daddy together. 
So the outcome is they're in survival mode. And they don't know what it's like to cohabitate inside of a man's space. So they have a more masculine demeanor. Not meaning that they're mean. Don't put words in my mouth. Not meaning that they're mean. They just have a masculine demeanor because they never grew up with a man in the household. They never saw mommy and daddy under one roof. So they didn't know how to play tea time. And they didn't know that when daddy was finished, you take daddy's plate off the table, put it in the garbage, and go wash the dishes. That is the essence this, a few things The essence of femininity these are, these are things that eventually will mold you Into being a wife Hey Yo, You might have just made a fact just now That's some real shit It's all of the intangible things That will secure you a certain caliber of man And in return That man will now give you the tangible thing Called a wedding ring that's why he's the GOAT! So, watch how I'm putting this all together. It's not so much the, your physical attributes. It helps, right? And I'll say this much, and I'll, I'll move right past it. Ladies, it would behoove you. Being that you guys fall under a beauty standard, right? You guys fall under a beauty standard, which is global. It's a global thing that pretty women get the best picks of the highest caliber of men. And then they get taken off of the dating market and become wives. But it just doesn't stop with your looks. That's why I said take sex off the table. Take sex completely off the table, right? Because after the sex and your good looks and your fitness... Who are you? And what are you bringing to this man of your choice? This motherfucker don't miss. What are you bringing? Who are you outside of your good looks? The intangibles now. Are you feminine? Are you in shape? Are you nice to be around? Can this man of choice take you to the Met Gala? Can he take you, this is for my, my melanated folks, can he take you to the NAACP dinner? I know because I went <laughs> uh, two years ago. Can he, take, can he take you to the NAACP dinner? Can you put on a nice evening gown? Are you, do you uh, adorn your natural hair? Do you clean up nice? Are you well put together? Can you speak and work, know how to work a room and make that man look good and possibly help him close a deal? Are you the soccer mom? Do you come to these PTA meetings with freshly baked chocolate chip cookies? Oh no, he didn't, Miss Peaches. This is, these are all of the things, right? That's why I said The Incredibles, Disney, they kind of fantasize what is supposed to be, it looks like it's attainable, right? And we all know capturing a husband or a wife is not so easy how they make it look on television. Oh shit, say it again. Outside of your good looks and your sex, you still need the intangibles to attract this caliber of man or your man of choice. You still need to be nice, right? You still need to be nice. You gotta be a little sweetheart. Femininity, another intangible that I'll drill home before I close the show. This was, this was nice and short. But I think outside of a woman's fitness, your overall aesthetic, your lack of femininity is killing your choices of the type of men you can attract and keep for a long term. 
Can you say that again? Just the way you said it. Your lack of femininity is killing your choices of the type of men you can attract and keep for a long term. For an LTR, long term relationship. Your lack of femininity. That is killing a lot of women's uh, opportunities and the type and caliber of man that should be available to her. But being that a lot of our women, again, the ones that it applies to, they're all in their masculine. I don't cook, I don't clean, but let I, me tell you, I got I, this ring. Got man, shut the f up. They have to get the last word. Or they are very boisterous that they do not like men. But wait, there's more. Hey ladies, how y'all doing? Yeah. That's awesome as fuck. Okay, so look, I just want to start by saying niggas ain't shit. Okay. Niggas ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. Okay. Hey bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. Get the f out of here, man. Please. Please get the f out of here, man. Point blank, period. Again, who he's sorry ass. <laughs> okay. And then another thing, okay? If his phone always on vibrate and he leave that bitch under his pillow, sis, his sneaky ass cheating. His sneaky ass cheating. I'm not gonna argue with you about it, okay? One more thing. If he say he went his homeboys, say it with me, ladies. He cheating, and his ass for the street. His ass is for the motherfucking street. In closing, in closing, I said cheated on Cardi. Jay cheated on Beyonce. So since your ass will get cheated on too, you feel me? All right, that's it. That's all. Period. Get the French toast out of here. A few moments later, they're very vitriol with their with their vocabulary in regards to a man, any man. He they don't have to know him. And again, I find it, I find it very rich. It's like, um, what's that little meme? Like, how dare you? Hey, lady, how how dare you turn your nose up at the species of man that was responsible for you being here? Fatality. It's not very feminine, like. I don't know who did what to you. It's not my concern. Your concern as a young lady on this dating, this aggressive and ferocious dating market is to be the best version of yourself presentable to the man that is going to come in suitable enough. Everything should be lined up. Don't tell me about the man that you don't want and you're not attracted to. We, we got that memo. Oh, no, he didn't. Miss Patience? Tell me about the man that you want. And what are you going to do to get him with your intangible assets? The intangibles. Not, it, again, how you look is how you look. Now, it's up to you to make those changes if you want a certain caliber of man and a certain lifestyle it's up to you be the prettiest you can be be as natural as possible be as fit and feminine and friendly and cooperative as you can because it's going to be for your benefit the intangibles all of these things there's no downside to this. Trust me. Trust trust and believe what, what I say. It is, there's no downside to being feminine, beautiful, inspirational, in shape, and girly girly. There's, there's no downside to this. Right? 
all of the women who fit that criteria, all the intangibles, they are wives. Oh shit, say it again. They are wives. Put a one in the chat if you're a wife. Put a two in the chat if you're single as French toast. Boy, that escalated quickly. If you're a wife, put a one in the chat. And I want you to just leave a brief comment on what did you do outside of your sex and your looks. What is something that you specifically did to capture your husband? That's why he's the GOAT! What did you do? You know, because if you take sex off the table, it's like, alright, you look good, you look cute enough, you're in shape, you have a nice body, but what else did you do outside of that to convince this man of your choice to take you off the dating market and make you an honest woman? What did you do? You had to do something because every woman is not a wife. You don't understand. Clearly. There's a plethora of single women on the dating market in hot pursuit of their Boaz, right? Or Mr. Right, if you subscribe to that, right? They're looking, they're all looking for this Mr. Right. So it's like, okay, well, it's supply and demand. What intangibles are you bringing to the dating market now so you can get scooped up? You can't just ask for it and not bring something to the table other than your physicality and your sex. It has to be more. I think that's a, mi a misconception that a lot of our women have been duped into thinking. That's why I said not the Incredibles, not this fantasy stuff. You just don't, and this is for the women that it applies to. You can't just show up to the dating market how you look, because you, you are responsible for your own uh, aesthetic. You can't just show up to the dating market and say, hey, I'm here now, fellas. Come on over here and marry a good girl like myself. Yep, that's right. That's not how that works. If it were that easy, every woman would be married. If it were that easy, like Disney selling you a fantasy. If it were really that easy, every woman, no matter what ethnic group she belongs to, would be a married woman. But that's not reality, right? Ladies and gentlemen, that's not reality. Everybody does not get the ring. Only a select few women get the ring, right? A man of your choice, the man that you wanted. You did something, what, what did you do? So I'll end with saying, I think the gender war, this imaginary gender war between, you know, the single people on the dating market needs to cease and desist because you're gonna get nowhere. We are human beings, we're mammals, we're animals. We belong together. Can you say that again? Just the way you said it. We belong together. Quote me on that. Clip it, put it on Worldstar. I never preach hate speech over here, uh, contrary to my critics and detractors. I never pe preach hate speech. I will never tell any man or woman yeah, just be by yourself. No. We are human beings. We are designed to be together. Now, who you gonna be with? Now, God gave you free will and choice. That's up to you. That is up to you. Who you're gonna decide to pick. And the point is, you have to get picked. But you have to be something to pick. Not just based on biology. Oh, I'm a female, and I got a vagina. Pick me. No. That's not how that works. That is not how that works. And I think that is the mis misconception out on the dating market. Just because you are pretty, and you got your little baby hairs pressed to the side, and you got a, I call, body karate. Kick ass. Got a nice body. What Drake says, stomach on flat. Nice derriere. You look nice in those uh, TikTok spandex. You do your Pilates, your squats, you got a nice body. But what else? 
<laughs> what else? That's why I said the intangibles. What else? Yes, you look good. You got a nice body. You, you're naturally pretty. And a plethora of guys give you sexual attention. That's a given. Okay, what else? What else? What else are you bringing to the dating market that will convince a man to take you off the dating market and make you a wife? What are you bringing? The, what intangible are you bringing to this specific type of man? I don't think women actually ask themselves these questions because it, it sounds like new information. They go, why I never heard these questions before. Can you repeat that kind, sir? I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. This is not a new concept, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is not a new concept. The All of the intangibles are what gets young ladies married and married in a hurry. This motherfucker don't miss. There's a criteria to be met outside of your beauty aesthetics. That's why I said the Incredibles, not the Incredibles, but the intangibles. So I hope this uh, classroom session was informative. <laughs> I hope it was educational. I hope you digested it. If, if if anything in there was offensive, which I don't think it was, I apologize out front, right out front. If, if you were offended by it, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, this this day and age that we live in, everybody is always in their feelings and so quickly offended. I saw it. I'm from a different era. I'm from the school of hard knocks, the late 70s, 80s, and 90s. And the way the world was set up back then, it groomed me a certain way. And I am... A little bit more in your face with it with the truth right the truth should never be offensive but in this day and age it's offensive goodbye let me know if this video was a hit or miss leave your comments down below also remember to hit that like and subscribe button on the way out i'll see you guys on the next one